Hey YouTube, Andrew from Snakeworks. If you could smell what I smell right now, you'd be vomiting. I just walked into my snake room and found that one of my snakes regurged some really nasty stuff. So we're gonna take a look at what happened and I'm gonna explain to you throughout the video why that happened. Yep, this is gross. Uh, that is basically some sort of undigested fur and whatnot. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm gonna get this snake out of here so it doesn't have to experience this anymore. And then maybe we can take a little bit of a look at what's going on. Oh God, don't go near it, hold on, I, I gotta fix this. Yeah, that's some super nasty, super nasty right there. And like I said, that's basically just hair and some sort of stomach. Ugh. So what happened here is about a month ago, I started cooling my ball pythons down because it just helps them to start breeding and I have more success when the animals are cooled down about 10 degrees at night. Problem with that is I should be feeding smaller meals because with the cooler temps, it's a lot harder for them to digest the food. I completely forgot, screwed up, and now I have this mess to deal with. What I need to do now is take some chlorhexidine, spray it down. I'm gonna let that sit for about an hour or something. It'll probably dry up the chlorhexidine, not the vomit. Vomit's already been cleared out. Uh, if the chlorhexidine ends up drying up, I'll just spray some water on it, wipe it out again. And from there on, we should be good to put the snake back into its home here. I also need to remember to not feed this animal for about a month because if this happens to you, you're gonna need your snake to replenish all its stomach fluids or else you're gonna end up just having this happen all over again because it will not be able to digest the next meal. So I'm gonna make a note on one of these cards so that I know not to just go throw at a rat in another two weeks when it's time to feed. So here we go. The snake is looking good. There doesn't seem to be any issues with it at all besides for it vomiting up disgusting things and making this room smell horrible. Little tongue flick. Clean paper, plenty of clean water. I'm not gonna put that same water back in there. I think he, I think there's probably vomit in there and it's, it's just disgusting. And uh, I'm just gonna keep an eye on the snake and things should be good to go from here. Okay, so that's how you handle your snake regurging. First one of the year, down the tubes. Hopefully we don't have anything more happening like that, but it's kind of inevitable that at some point with a larger collection, you're gonna run into these problems. So I hope this helps someone out there on the internet if your snake has regurged. I think you need to check your temps, make the meals a little bit smaller, take notes and keep an eye on the animal. Like I'll be checking in on this one daily just to make sure there's nothing else going on. If you like the video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. Take it easy. Thank you.